So print on demand is great. You can make a lot of money by selling products that you don't actually hold inventory for or even make yourself. But there's another way to do this, a way that might even be more profitable because you're not competing with the likes of Target or Walmart. You're making something that is so unique. It's actually unique on every single order. And this is called personalized print on demand. The way it works is essentially like this. You have a storefront with some type of design, but that design is allowed to be customized by the end user. So picture maybe somebody's planning for a bachelorette weekend, or maybe like a fraternity wants to wear the same shirts to a baseball game, whatever it might be. Anytime people want to buy a customized shirt, rather than going to like custom ink and you know building the whole thing from scratch, they can go to your store. Maybe they find it by ads or, or maybe they find it on Google search, but they find your store. You have a nice design they really like, and then they can type in their name, their date. They could do whatever little customizations you allow on that design. And then, you know, they order it. You never have to touch it. It gets printed by the supplier we're going to talk about in this video. It gets shipped directly to them. They get what they want. It's easier for them. You make profit. The supplier makes money. Everybody wins in that situation. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. We're going to make a Shopify store so you can sell to millions of people all over the world. And we're going to be using a supplier called Gelato. Now, I'm going to show you step by step how to set all of this up throughout the video. And I have a lot of links. So we're going to talk about a lot of different free tools, some paid tools, just a ton of tools in this video. So I'm going to number the links down below. So in the description and in a pinned comment, I'll have them numbered like link one, link two, and all the way through like that. So with that being said, the first step is of course to decide what your design is going to be. This doesn't have to be on a t-shirt. This could be on a mug. This could be wall art. This could be like really as far as you want to go, you can really be very creative with this. And for example, maybe you want to have like anniversary dates on like a nice little wall art that's very custom. People can buy it. Great anniversary gift, right? Things like that. And the best way to kind of brainstorm in my opinion is to just look at what the physical products that are available actually look like and then you can kind of start to think of what your design is going to look like on those products so link number one down below will take you to gelato this is an affiliate link so it helps to keep videos like this free for you to watch and learn from there are a lot of suppliers out there we like using gelato i'll talk about why we like them in a minute so heading over to my laptop the first link that we have is santrellmedia.com gelato that's also numbered link number one down below uh, and this is an affiliate link so we partnered up with gelato to get you 50 percent off your first order and a free trial just to kind of get you guys started, order some samples, kind of experiment a little bit. And so that'll take you to this page. We're going to click on get offer right here. We'll say get offer. And that's going to prompt us to set up our own Gelato account. I'm gonna sign up with email right now. Now we have to verify our email address. And when you go to your email and click on verify, that'll bring you to this page right here. So you can choose whatever you want here. This really won't make a huge difference on the actual platform we're gonna be using, just a little bit of a difference on the dashboard. So I'm going to launch an online business. Um, I am, you could choose whatever you want. I am going to say, I'm, I'm going to say an e-commerce e e seller, right? And maybe we want to do a little bit of clothing. And where do we find out about this? We could say social media. Uh, this could be on YouTube. Hopefully you found out through me and we'll say finish. Like I said, that really doesn't make a huge difference on what Gelato actually looks like to you. Everything that we're going to be using is all going to be exactly the same regardless of those answers. So don't stress over that. Now we can go down to product catalog on the left side. And this is where we can really start to brainstorm what kind of ideas we really want. These could be like a gag gift around like uh, maybe a white elephant gift, you know, sometime around Christmas, you might want to have some really funny ideas like that. Start marketing those. This could be maybe like uh, maybe a corporate 5k. People want to have their own little teams and kind of make their own custom shirts. Stuff like that can all be made Made very easily on here like shirts are going to be a really strong option here but going down of course we do also have tote bags you can have some little bags that again might be a good idea for like a bachelorette weekend that could be a really a really great idea to make those we could have wall art and that like i said could be great for like anniversary dates or just people's names or whatever you can have you know whatever you want to do with that honestly uh hats phone cases are another really cool one uh mugs is a very obvious one that's one that people have always been making and that would be more of a personalized gift you'd give to another person so these might be like one-off sales which are great but of course if you're doing like uh, a bachelorette party, like I said before, and you're selling like 10 or 12 items, then obviously you have a little bit more upside on that one um, with overall profit. Then we have photo books down here. Uh, of course, these can be customized as well. Custom calendars, cards, stationary business, a lot of different options as we're going through that. So we have an idea of what the products look like. Let's go to a new tab now and go to link number two in the description below, or you can type in santrellmedia.com slash Shopify POD. 
Shopify print on demand. And this is going to give you an extended free trial with Shopify. Uh, so you can start off with $1 per month. I'm going to enter my email address and build out a Shopify store. And the reason that we're using Shopify with Gelato, it kind of works like this. So Gelato is going to be our supplier. They're the ones that, that they make the product, they do all the fulfillment, they ship the product. But the actual customer side of things, like we can't design a website on Gelato. We design a Shopify storefront. That's going to be our entire store. And Shopify is easy to recommend. It's something that you probably have already heard about. Millions and millions of people use it. It's trusted by gigantic brands like Kim Kardashian uses it. Uh, I can have a list down below of tons of other brands that use Shopify as well. It just integrates so well with everything too. So if you decide later that you want to run TikTok ads, it integrates with TikTok. If you want to do an email marketing campaign, it integrates with Klaviyo or Omnisend or different ones like that. So Shopify is just easy to recommend. That's why we're using that as our vehicle to host our entire store. So I'm going to sign up with an email address. All right. So now I can create a password Enter the password. We're going to create our Shopify account now. And this is going to take a minute. It's just going to kind of walk us through some basic questions that it doesn't really matter what you answer for these questions. It's just going to change your dashboard a little bit uh, for how much experience you have and stuff like that. So I am going to, first of all, select a plan in order to do any selling in order to unlock all of the features on here. You'll see a little pop up on the bottom and says select plan. You can click on select plan. If you don't see that pop up, you can also access this by going to settings and then from here, go to plan as your little second option on the left and we can choose our plan. So again, like I said, this is going to start off for $1 and the plans can be a little bit confusing. So let me kind of explain them to you. The basic plan is probably going to be what you want. If you don't have any pre-existing sales, if you don't have a gigantic audience, like if you're not an influencer already, this is going to be the right plan for you. If you're already selling a lot of volume, if you're an influencer, for example, and you know this drop is going to really you know, do well, then maybe the next plan up makes sense because you do have lower credit card rates. Otherwise, I mean, in same thing with the higher one as well, like cheaper rates is really the main benefit there. Otherwise, you get access to everything you will need in the basic plan. So I'm going to select the basic plan and we are going to subscribe. I'm just going to do monthly. I think that's easier just, you know, so you can work this store for maybe three, four months, make sure you're profitable. And if it doesn't work out, uh, like I said, you can either restart your store or if you have to cancel, you can, you're not locked in for an entire year. But if you are confident, you are going to do this for an entire year and you don't want the temptation of giving up, you can definitely save $120 by paying annually instead. I'm going to enter my credit card information. And then once you click subscribe, it's going to ask you for some business details and we can save our business address and that'll take us back to our dashboard. You can click on home and, and it'll tell you some basic stuff right here. We're not worried about any of that. What we want to do now is start to customize our store. We're going to import our products in a minute, but let's go and choose a theme that makes the most sense here. So this is what I really like about Shopify. If you go down to online stores, you can choose themes that basically build your entire store for you. And there's very little work you have to do other than changing some photos out, swapping out their text for your text. And I mean, you're pretty much ready to go. You can change the colors if you want, but I'm going to go down to add themes. We're going to click on add theme and visit the theme store. And there are, I believe, 180 themes on Shopify. Uh, a lot of them are paid themes. We could talk about those in another video. But I think when you're getting started, it makes sense to go with a free theme. So we have 12 free themes. So select free on the left. And these themes still look fantastic. So going down here, if there's anything that you think makes a lot of sense for your brand, then select that, of course. But again, remember, this is going to be a customization website. So you don't necessarily need an entire library of products that are like stagnant products. Maybe you really want to emphasize something like this this, we can have some text on the left side and say like customize whatever and show kind of like the act of people customizing whatever they're buying. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. It's going to save you some effort if you choose one that is more similar to what you envision to be your end website. But with that, whichever one you start with, you can customize all of them pretty much indefinitely. So I'm going to try this theme. It's going to add spotlight. That's the name of this theme to our online store. And don't worry, if you choose a different one, the rest of this tutorial is going to be absolutely identical. So you can still follow along even if you didn't choose spotlight that really doesn't matter choose whichever theme you like best for your website all right now this is a step that i think most people forget when they add the theme they think it's going to show up and they're surprised when it's not there and dawn is still there the reason is because you have to actually publish that so we're going to click on publish we're going to publish this theme and that will move spotlight up to our primary our current theme right now then the next thing we want to do is remove the password nobody's visiting this website yet so i'm not worried about having a password on there this way, all the integrations work, everything is going to be set up properly when you just don't have a password on your site. That doesn't mean your dashboard, it means like the actual website, like going to your domain, you're able to access that now. So if we click on the three dots right here, you can click on view and that'll show you what your website looks like. This one's super basic right now. I chose a very minimal theme. So we're going to customize a lot about this, add a lot more text on there, but you get the idea of, you know, you can check that out early on. Now we have Shopify. Now we have Gelato. We need to connect the two and we need to bring products from Gelato over to Shopify. So what we want to do here is go back to gelato and from gelato 
you should be able to go down to stores and we can click on Shopify and that should open a new tab. You wanna make sure that you are signed in so they're both on the same browser. Uh, if you don't see your store, like your, your name on the top right, then make sure you sign in. I'm going to click on install and it's going to install it over to our store. We're gonna click install again. And now we have that connection, that's great. So now we can either connect your products, we don't have any, you can manually do this. I'm gonna say create a new product. We need to get some products connected over there. But this is going to have us create a regular product. We don't wanna have, let's just do a regular product real quick just so I can show you how this works. So if we go to men's clothing and we choose, let's find a Gildan 5000 common t-shirt. Is this a, yeah, Gildan 5000, super common t-shirt. A lot of people sell this one, very affordable, easy to make. So I'm just gonna go and quickly just make one product just to show you how it ports over and then we'll start making customizable products in just a second so i'm going to choose a we're going to upload our logo so i'm just going to click and drag a logo over here this is like a really terrible t-shirt but just for demonstrative purposes i want to show you this we can continue over to mock-ups we can choose which ones we like so that's the one that's free all these other ones you have to get gelato gold for we'll talk more about getting uh, more premium versions of gelato in a second but for now i'm just going to stick with that one we're gonna say download. We're gonna say continue to details. We can customize this with whatever we want. So we can say Santrell, media, whatever, crew neck t-shirt, continue to prices. You can set your prices for everything. And again, we're gonna customize all of this in a minute. I just wanna show you how these products link up. So we're gonna say update now. We're gonna say publish. And this product is going to be publishing. So this should be sending it over to our Shopify store. It'll tell us right here, so let's close out of that. It'll tell us right here, okay, eight of them are green, eight variants are connected, which when we go over to Shopify then, and we go to products, we can refresh this, and there we go, all of our products are there. So if we click on that, it tells us a lot more. We can customize much more here. We've got a nice little size guide, a chart, some little stuff down there. I really like how this is all ported over so, so easily. So let's go back to Gelato. And now, like I said, we wanna go down to Personalization Studio. This is really the meat and potatoes of this video. Making this is going to be absolutely everything. So Personalization Studio, from personalization studio i'm going to click on try it now we can connect to my store we can choose what we're going to personalize so again going back to that brainstorm let's just say for the purposes of this video here's an example my wife has been in a lot of bachelorette parties lately she's been like planning them and, and just involved in them they like to buy like a lot of themed things whether they're decorations or shirts or little like bags for everybody so let's go with like a tote bag right here something real simple uh, pretty straightforward we're going to go with a premium tote bag $15.90 it can be either a DTG or embroidered. I'm gonna go with DTG for this one just to make this design. And now what we can do is choose everything on the left side that is being designed. We can add photos, we can add text, we can add shapes. And then if you click on personalize, you can choose what is actually getting personalized. So we can add a personalization layer. This could be an image that they're allowed to upload. This could be text. Let's just say an image. Maybe it's going to be like their fiance's face or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's something that they would do. So we can select an image. So I upload a file. And I can click and drag this file over and this is going to be one that they're able to personalize so it could be like a photo of them so to show that I'm just gonna put a photo of me right there and we're gonna have this so that is personalizable that is something that they can change now let's go back to so we have one personalizable layer we can go to text and we can add text that they're not able to customize something that we want to customize as a creator of this and we could say we can just say I don't know bachelorette party find a font that kind of makes a little more sense now okay clearly i'm not very good at designing bachelorette party stuff but i'm just you get the idea bear with me on this this is beyond my my normal expertise realm the bachelorette party stuff um, but regardless let's go to uh let's add another personalization layer and maybe a name's gonna be on the top so like it'll be like uh names bachelorette party and then photo of their fiance on the bottom so i'm gonna add some text and this is gonna be customizable text i'm gonna say name names and then let's move that up there let's just change the name something like that and <laughs> okay let's go up to product make sure we have the right product color i'm just going to go only with one color just a natural color makes sense here uh, because of the font and everything so now let's go over continue to mock-ups so now they have two things that they're able to customize the photo and the name on the top and so we can choose these mock-ups like i said some of them require uh, gelato plus some require gelato gold i mean i'm going to upgrade to that in a second just so we can use those photos i think that's going to be really useful in this store to have those mock-ups but it's kind of seeing what they are right here that's what we get right now so i'm going to continue to details and this can be personalized personalizable tote bag something like that continue to prices 
And now the price is because we only have one size, one variant here, we can choose. What, what I really like that Gelato does here is you can include shipping costs in profit co calculation. And you can say that I want my profit margin to be 50%, or you could say dollars as well. But I'm going to say, let's just say we want like a 63% profit margin. We'll say update. And that's going to make the final prices over here, the retail price, $53 per bag. So that's a little bit high, but this is a more premium tote bag. Remember, there's a cheaper one as well. So you could also have some more affordable ones uh, if you wanted to sell some cheaper. But for now, I'm just going to go with this again, just to kind of demonstrate the tools we have available. I'm going to say publish on the top right. And now we have that uh, pretty much ready to go. It'll sync up with our store. Now, one thing to note about this one is that because I don't have a background on my photo, other people might not have photos without the background. So this might not be the best photo example here, uh, unless you you know recommend like a background removal tool or something like that. And some people will do that, but a lot of people are just going to take a photo from their iPhone, put it on the tote bag and, and just roll with it, which isn't a bad thing. It just might look a little bit different. So now if we go back to our store, let's go back to products and both of them are there. So that's good. That's exactly what we want so now that we have one product or two products really we're going to add a couple more in a minute but let's kind of jump back to shopify and start doing some more build out of this store and we really want to make sure that we have a domain now that is a really like it's a legitimate store so let's go down to settings and we want to rename this store we don't want it called my store that's really unprofessional so if we click on the pencil icon we can rename this to uh, bachelorette bachelorette party supply co let's just do a quick google search and make sure that is not already taken um, I don't see anything. Obviously do a lot of research. You don't want to like step on any toes or, or break any laws. But again, this is all just demonstrative purposes only. This is not a real business I'm going to run. So I'm going to just call it that bachelor party supply co. And then we can go down to domains on the left side. You should see domains, domains, domains. There it is domains. And we can buy a new domain. And you can also of course import one if you have it through Squarespace or Namecheap or something else. Uh, I find that to just be a little bit of extra work. I like to do everything just within Shopify. So I'm going to say bachelorette party supply co dot com or we could even say bachelor at party supply dot co see if that's available it is eighteen dollars for the first year twenty nine dollars a year after that i usually like to see them between like fifteen and twenty five dollars is, is a good price range twenty nine is a little bit high but an extra four dollars per year that, that i think is worth it considering the you know how much easier it is just to get this through Shopify here. So I'm going to buy the domain. We can add the information here, go down and say buy domain. It's $18. All right. So this might take another minute or two until the domain is actually set up and everything is working on the back end, but it's doing all of that for you. So now while we're in settings, there are a couple other key things we need to do. One is going to be to set up payments. If anyone's going to order anything on our site, we need a way to accept the payments. So if we go up to payments right here, there's a couple great ways to do this. Uh, PayPal is a really easy one. Shopify payments, I, I really recommend doing that. But there are alternatives as well. You can set up other payment manual methods um, and whatever you really want. If you find one that has lower fees or something like that that you just really like, you can use that. But Shopify payments is kind of the standard. You accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Amex, Apple Pay, Google Pay, MetaPay, uh, of course, Shop Pay as well. Like pretty much any kind of payment somebody might have, they, you're able to accept it right here. And PayPal, of course, is another one in case like for me i don't always carry my credit card with me sometimes it's easier just on my phone to pay with paypal because i'm already signed in so let's click on complete account setup i'm going to submit details about the business and then on the very bottom this is the statement descriptor this is really really important this is going to be how it shows up on people's bank statement on their credit card statement if you leave it as this you're probably going to get a lot of payment reversals like a lot of people disputing the charge because they check out their credit card bill and they're like why did i like 55 dollars for spc 22 like they're not going to recognize that and they're going to think that that's a scam and they're going to try to dispute that. So make sure it's something very clear, very conspicuous. So when people see that, they're like, yes, I bought. Uh, so we're going to call it Bachelor, Bachelorette Supply Co. We're just going to call it that. And we can say submit for verification. And now while that is being verified, we can turn on two-step authentication. This is a great way to make sure that your account's a little bit more secure. And then you can authenticate with a lot of different apps out there. If you just go to the app store and find an authenticator app, like Microsoft has a good one. Google has one. There's a lot of them out there. So you can just go and scan this QR code with your phone on the authenticator app that you choose. And then it'll give you a six digit code. We can type that in. And now we have two factor authentication, of course, download your codes. And that just makes it a little bit harder for somebody to hack into your account or just guess your password and sign in. So now we have that, that's good. If we go back to payments, uh, I recommend also setting up uh, right here, PayPal, just, you know, 
click on that and it walks you through it. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you should do that on your own time. Then we can go down to shipping and delivery. Uh, this is one that we don't really have to worry about because Gelato takes care of all of that. There's 39 profiles for that. Taxes and duties. Check up on your local, wherever you're located. Make sure you're doing the proper things for taxes and duties. And of course, if we want to set up gift cards, we can set that up down here as well. I'm not going to set up gift cards right now. I don't think that's something that is really going to matter too much early on with a business like this one. Now we can close out of settings. And we have our website mostly ready to go. Like we have a lot going on here. And even though we haven't customized the appearance of the website, if we just go to our domain, so bachelor. All right, so if we go down to online store, we can click on the three dots, we can click on view. Uh, and so right now, once again, our domain is still being set up. So it's gonna give us this weird domain. Also the website looks really bland right now, but I'm gonna click on this product right here and you can see personalized design is going to show up. So this is how somebody can actually, like when they go to order, they'll see add to cart or personalized design. So if they click on personalize, they can first of all change the photo so they can choose a file. They can upload their own file. So if I'm just gonna say maybe like a different photo of me, uh, maybe I want this one. So I can click and drag this over. Let's choose this one. It looks like a mugshot. That's a terrible photo. Why don't I take that photo? Anyway, and then we can change the text here. So the end user is able to move that text or choose that text. And they could say uh, Mike's bachelorette party. And then they could say add to cart. And so just like that, they have something completely customized uh, with their own photo, their own text on there. It's the same price, like I said. Um, and so now they can go to checkout. And like I said, tons of different ways to pay. Um, so I'm going to say checkout and that will bring them over here. They can enter their phone number. They can uh, enter their credit card information. They'll say pay now. They'll then get an email and this will ship and be fulfilled by Gelato. So that's how that works on that end. But let's actually customize the website a little bit more. I think you're getting the idea of how this is really working. It really came together quite a bit in a short amount of time. But let's go back to where we were. So on your Shopify dashboard, online store within the themes tab, we can click on customize. So the way Shopify works is using a section layout. So there are different banners across the website that are different sections. So right now we have our header, we have one section in the middle, as you can see outlined in blue right here. And then we have our footer. It's a pretty boring website. There's not a lot going on here. But if we hover over the plus, we can add a section to the template. This is going to be a section right above this one. And we can choose what this section is going to be. There's a lot of pre-made ones from Shopify. You can have a featured product on the top. You can have a collection of things. You can have text. You can have an image with some text. Let's go with the featured product. Just click on that. Featured product is going to be added there. And we can select the product. And maybe it's going to be the personalizable tote bag. Again, Definitely not my favorite product I've ever made, um, but again, just a demonstration. But like I said here, this already shows up. So we now have, with very little work, we've got our, our, our button on the right side, our image on the left side. We have our price. We've got a lot of, they can adjust the quantity, stuff like that. So I'm going to select that product. Now we can customize a little bit more about what this segment looks like. So what this section actually looks like, we can choose the scheme. So if we want this to be like a dark scheme, we can do that. If we want it to be red, we could do that. And so these are all just numbered schemes that apply throughout the entire website. We can customize those as well by clicking on the little gear icon on the top left. So let's click on that. Let's go to uh, colors right here. And like I said, we've got five different schemes here and they're going to control different sections. So if this section is scheme four, as it looks like it is, we can choose what the buttons are colored, what the text color looks like, stuff like that. So let's click on that one. We can choose what the color is of the background. Maybe we want something uh, more, eh, maybe we just want it white. Let's just leave it white on the background. Then we can have our text color. So maybe this is going to be like a, uh, like that color right there. And by the way, you can actually make your color palettes really well. Um, just if you go to Google and look up color palette generator, there are a lot of free tools out there that allow you to kind of make a, a design of colors that, that go well together. So the outline of this button, let's change this one to brown um, and a solid button background. We can make this I don't like that color actually. Let's make it like a magenta. There we go. And so this is scheme four now. Pretty basic, not a whole lot to look at here, but that's what it is right now. And of course you can do this for every single scheme. Scheme one, you can change the colors of everything, your accent colors, stuff like that. So once you really have a design for your website, you can build all of that out. So let's go back to this little thing on the top left called sections. And that brings us back to our editor. It's still editing this section. So we'll click on the little back for featured product and we can see all of the sections that we have. So in the template, we have our featured product and our featured collection. Let's add a little bit more on here. Let's add something in the middle. We can either do that by hovering over here and clicking the plus like I showed you before or on the left side, we go back, close this. We can add one, uh, we can add a section in here. So we'll click add section. In this section, I just want this to be maybe an image banner, something like that. 
that just to kind of show people that they're able to customize it. If we click on the six dots, we can drag this up above the featured collection and below the featured product. We're dropping it right there. So now we've got our featured product. Uh, it looks like it didn't actually move it right. Let's move this below. There we go. So now we have our featured product. We have our little image banner, and then we have our featured collection, all the products that we do have available on this store. So if we want to customize this a little bit, let's click on image banner. So let's add some images. We're going to add an image from, I believe I have one right here. We're just going to add this image as a, like a background, just some generic image I found. I'm going to add that. And then we're going to click on image banner, the words image banner. We can customize this and say, personalize everything. And then we have two buttons here so we can change, choose the label. So we could say um, shirts and the second one can be totes, shirts and accessories. And then we can have a link to each one. So we can have a link to products or links to collections. So for this one, I'm just going to link to a product here just to kind of, again, demonstrate this. And we can link again to the other product down here. So now that we have those buttons, I don't like the color again. This is where I would change. Those would probably be pink or something that matches that background. Maybe green would work as well, but this looks good. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to say save. Actually, it's bothering me. Let's let's change that. That's scheme one. I don't like that background. Let's make it something that matches a little bit better. There we go. That looks way, That looks so much better there. That looks infinitely better. So we can say save. And because that's that color, I really want this button to be that color too. Sorry, I'm getting a little picky now. I want this one. Actually, no, I just want this whole block to be scheme one. There we go easiest way to change the button. As you can see, that's why schemes are so useful. So personalize everything, bachelorette party stuff. Now let's talk about making a just another product. I want to show you guys a little bit more about the customization you could do with Gelato. It's not just that right there, even though that is really powerful, making a tote bag, you can change the image and the text, uh, but you can't change like the word bachelorette and, and stuff like that. So let's go back to personalization studio in Gelato and we can say, try it now. We can say it with this store. And now let's say we want to make some shirts. We're going to go again with the Gildan 5000. Or actually, let's go to women's clothing. Obviously, it makes some more sense here. We'll go to, uh, let's just say t-shirts. T-shirts are fine. And we can go with, I mean, I, I don't know. Choose anyone you want. I'm just going to go with the, the best seller on the top, the classic. We can choose the colors. So let's go with maybe this one here. We can have two different color options, azalea and white. We can choose the sizes. Those are good. And now we can start customizing this again. So you can add your own photos, your own text. So I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose from my device. This is one that I made in Canva really quick. So we can then drag this over. It shouldn't have a background. There we go. Background goes away. We can change the size of this. And now we can start adding what we want to be customizable here. Let's go down to text or let's go to personalize. We're going to add a personalization layer. This is going to be text. And here we could just say, and we can have that. Uh, we can change the font, of course, on the top. Now, some of the fonts that I really want to use are behind this paywall. So I'm going to actually upgrade uh, whenever you get Gelato Plus or Gold. There is, there's a lot more you can get with this, of course. So not only the custom fonts on here and a lot of other tools that are available in the design studio, but also the different mockups. So I'm just going to get the free trial anyway with Gelato Plus. I'm going to pay monthly on this one. We're going to get the free trial and say continue. And so this is going to unlock, like I said, a, really a lot of stuff within Gelato, um, especially within the design studio and the mockups. Those are the two biggest things that, that really matter to me. So now just to be extra clear, you don't actually have to upgrade to Gelato Plus or Gelato Gold. In fact, Gelato is totally free to use for forever like it's not a little free trial thing we should be unlocked on that we should have that so now we can go and choose the fonts that we want so let's go with this one go with that and we can change the color of this as well so let's change the color to maybe a darker so make it this color so it matches actually i think this should be black the name should be a black font there we go and then we can add let's go to personalize again and we're going to add one more personalization layer this is going to be text and this could be maybe the date we're gonna add the date right up there. So now we have that pretty much ready to go. We can change, let's change the location of all of this. So we can just kind of select everything and move it up. I want everything to be a little bit higher. So a lot of these mockups are using Gelato Gold. So if you just kind of view this, you could see that I think it looks uh, pretty nice. It's, it's probably worth it if you're selling a lot of products. So I don't know if that really fits the vibe of a bachelorette party though, but it could still be useful to kind of show like what this shirt can actually look like. So I'm going to select this one and just kind of get the free trial on Gelato Gold. So I'm going to do that right now. We'll say continue. And if you ever decide you don't want it, you can always just cancel that. You don't need that. But like I said, it does give you access to some pretty powerful tools like these better mockups, for example. So let's go back to gelato where we were let's select this one make this the primary one and let's add i don't know this one could be useful that could be useful looks good to me 
So now we can we can also download them, by the way, as well, if we want to use them on our marketing material, uh, on Instagram, anything like that. Let's continue to details now and we can choose what this is going to be called. And uh, I'm just going to say continue to prices and we can say publish. And now this one will be added to our store as well. Now, I like this one way more than the tote. And I think it's probably makes sense to put this one at the top of our store. So let's go back to my store. So we'll go back to the store. Uh, let's actually close out of this. Go back to the store. We'll go to products. See if it imported that it is there now. Uh, it looks like it's kind of still coming in, uh, but let's go down to online store. Now we can click on customize. And from here, like I said, I, I like the tote, <laughs> but I'm going to move it down to the bottom. And on the very top, I want to have another featured product. We're going to add a featured product and this one. We can click on featured product. We're going to choose our product. This is going to be that shirt right there. There we go. I think that looks good. We're going to select that and we can choose a little bit more about the layout. So we can make the media, let's make it the normal size. We can make it on the right side, kind of changes it up from this one. So some variation with this. Actually, I want this one on the left and I want the one on the bottom to be on the right. Let's kind of change this one up. So we have a little bit of a variation on our website. So it's not all the images on the left side. This looks so much better. There we go. Yes. Okay. I like the website way more now. Let's save that. All right. So bachelorette parties are not my specialty, but uh, this still looks like a pretty good store in my opinion. I think if we go, let's check out what Azalea looks like. Um, white, we got two different shirts, different sizes. We can add them to cart. Um, if we go down here, we can, you know, look at shirts and accessories, see all the different products. And so that's really more or less how you'd want to go about setting up your store. At least those are the tools available. Obviously make your store look much better than this one. And maybe bachelorette party is not going to be the main theme for everyone. Like you could, like I said before, make this for weddings or for like five K's. Uh, it could be for just a party theme. It could be a gag gift, a one-off thing. It doesn't have to be for a group. Maybe fraternities would buy stuff like this. A lot of different options on where you can actually uh, sell this kind of stuff. But this is just kind of one idea I had for for this example here. Now, as a quick aside, I think I want to explain the pricing structure of Gelato a little bit more. So like I said, it's totally free to use forever. But if you go up to pricing, you go down to subscription plans, that'll bring you to this page right here where they kind of have this nice tool in the middle that suggests what plan you should get based on how many orders you have per month. Uh, of course, you can do your own math on this and you don't have to listen to what they say. But I do like that in the beginning when you have zero orders, they are recommending the free one. Like they're not trying to push you into a more expensive plan. And I appreciate that. Like starting a new business, it makes sense that you're going to be bootstrapping it. And you probably want to save some money here. And it does still give you production in 32 countries. You can still sell on Etsy and Shopify and WooCommerce. Uh, you still have the design editor. Pretty much everything in this video you're still getting. And the only thing that I really wanted to use in this video that is not available in the free one is the premium mockups. So some mockups are going to be available on Gelato Plus or Gold. Um, but really the reason that they have this tool here that says, hey, if you have 100 orders, maybe gold is better. If you have 10 orders per month, maybe Gelato Plus is better. And the reason for that is because you're actually saving some money on products, not all products, but you're saving up to 10% off products with Gelato Plus, 15% off with gold. You're saving money on branded labels as well with gold. So as you start to scale your business, it may make sense further on down the road to come back here and maybe upgrade. Once you have that, a couple other tools that I would recommend, if you go down to apps on the bottom of Shopify, we can search for Omnisend, Omnisend, click on Omnisend, and we are going to install this. This is going to be an email marketing platform. So anyone who buys something from you, uh, you can have a lot of automations to upsell to them or cross sell different products. You could also then let them know about future things that are being launched. You could use it for a lot of different things, not just email, but also SMS and web push notifications as well. And I have a video uh, fully showing you how to set that up. I'll link that video down below as well. Um, so it wants us to sign up right now. I'm going to close out of that, but that's how you get Omnisend on your store. And then the other thing that I would recommend getting one other thing is TikTok, of course. So if we go to apps and type in TikTok, I have a full video on how to run TikTok ads as well. I'll link that below. But if we install TikTok, two things we can do here. One, we can integrate with TikTok and have TikTok shop set up so we can sell natively on TikTok. And the second thing you can do is run TikTok ads that integrate deeply with your Shopify store. So the ads will be tracked and it'll you'll know when someone clicks on an ad, uh, which ad converts better for people going to the cart, which one sends more people to actually check out. 
which one has more sales overall, and you can really optimize your ads um, and your ad spend to maximize your profit on your store. So now the last thing I recommend doing, something I love doing with all of my online stores is I go and place an order so that you actually have the product and you know what the end customer is really going to experience, what the packaging looks like, what the shipping time is actually like, and what the texture of the fabric, everything really is going to be like to the end user. So you can order a sample. And, and again, if you use the link in the description below, you actually get 50% off your first sample order. So it's a little nice to just kind of get the product in your hands so you can either make advertising material with it, or like I said, just better understand what the customer is going to receive. You can save some money using that link down below. That's kind of a crash course on how to make a customizable print on demand with Gelato and Shopify. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you found it informative. Uh, I really think it's an, it's an exciting opportunity to sell things that are more unique, more different, and I mean, customizable stuff. Who doesn't want a picture of their friend's face on their socks, something like that. I just think it's really cool. Um, but leave a comment and let me know what your store is down below. I'll gladly check it out. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Bryan with Santral Media. And I'll see you guys in the next video.